Hey guys, me again, back with another Cybertruck review. This time we've got the Top Protect. Protect and style your way. This is a liner, basically, for the Cybertruck's trim. They have all sorts of options to choose from. I'm going with the vault area. So there's basically four long strips. So we've got any plastic trim along the vault. One, two, three, and the sail, four. So this is a thick, let's see if we can focus, basically a thick sort of vinyl uh, with an adhesive. And I'm going to peel this off and adhere it to the top of the plastic. And it has a sort of thick texture like a spray liner would have. Uh, this is going to protect my plastic because I'm already seeing all sorts of these scuffs from my cyber tent. It rests here and as it moves, it is scraping the hell out of this plastic trim. And I'd love for this to last me a good decade without slowly destroying itself. I am a bit of a pavement princess. I do not use my Cybertruck for hauling things and dirt. I want this to look nice. I want it to look pristine for years to come. Uh, so I wasn't happy with the cyber tent. Basically scratching everything up. I'm hoping this is a good solution. Fairly simple, you just peel and stick. I will follow their directions they've got. Start with the tailgate and work my way from there. This is not cheap. This was about 150 bucks. Side note, I actually paid almost $200 after tax, even with their 10% off code. So it seems they are adjusting prices on their website currently. So go check them out for best prices. Basically for a very long sticker. So we'll see if it's worth it in the long run. I don't think they even had a very long warranty, maybe three to five years it should last I, if off the top of my head. But uh, again, they have all sorts of options to choose. You can do your, your fenders, um, including underneath, and you can do the back bumper and the front area as well, the front bumper. They have those as options, but each of those are like 100 to, I think 250 for each section. So if you wanted to completely cover your Cybertruck in this, it's gonna cost you a lot of money. So I'm just gonna stick with the pieces that I've been noticing getting scratched. If I notice this is helping, maybe I will think about getting the other areas protected as well. But uh, let me get started on the tailgate, see how difficult that is. Uh, I anticipate these will be the more difficult ones since I have to align them with the cutouts, especially that button right there. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, first step, I gotta prep this surface and make sure it's really clean and dust free. So check in with you and we'll see how the tailgate went in just a second. Hey guys, checking in. I was putting on the tailgate. I did not like their instructions, which was to basically start at one end and start applying it to this edge when working my way that way. Uh, it was proving to be a little too difficult to try and get these uh, edges here. See, it's still not. <laughs> I'm very OCD. It's still not completely lined up. Uh, uh, I guess it's fine, but uh, trying to get these about an eighth of an inch, they say, from the edge. So I came up with the idea of putting it partially back on the paper that it came with and just putting it on offset in a way so that I could place just this little strip all along this edge. And then my master plan is to, of course, peel this back, fold this over and everything should line up just how I'd want it. So I know this is the edge that is exterior facing. So I wanna make sure this is completely down to the bottom and flush all the way across since that's gonna be the most visible edge um, while the you know, truck is parked. I feel like that's the most important to look the best. So 
I'm gonna peel this off and see if my idea is better than their instructions because it just wasn't working out to try and get this completely lined up. And then you have to peel it off and it's so long that it, it's just too sticky to make minor adjustments. So the less I have contacting the plastic, the easier it is for me to peel it up and make these micro adjustments and stretch it too. Cause if I didn't pull while I'm adhering this, I had a good like fourth of an inch gap. So as I was working it, I kept pulling and stretching, making those adjustments to get it, you know, about an eighth of an inch away from the edge as they recommend. So we'll see how my plan goes. I'll check in again in a second. I just love it when I am right. That worked beautifully. I feel like I got it nice and close to that edge. Pressed along this first. And yeah, I'm close, close to that edge. Not as close as maybe the other side, but close enough for me. I see a couple bubbles. I went over this with a uh, hair dryer, plugged into the, the back there. And rolled along the edge here to get this to lay down. They provide you with a couple squeegees. They're nothing great. It's just paper with a soft, soft cloth on the end. But they do provide these so you can squeegee out bubbles. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with that. That worked out perfectly. Let's close the uh, tonneau. Is it gonna close? There we go. That looks pretty good to me. So one down, three to go, I guess. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to finish all these. So this might spill over into tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, that, that was, wasn't too difficult. I don't know if I can use the same method on the sides but I can sure try, so. Um, let me see if I can figure that out. All right, in the event somebody else decides to do this, uh, I kind of modified the instructions again. I peeled it back to just past these two cutouts, tore off that trans uh, transfer paper, and then just stuck it just underneath those buttons. So I'm basically just trying to isolate these two areas. The, the, I want the least amount of contact with the, with the surface here around these spots that I cannot miss. And uh, just kind of split the difference here in the middle and then pulled it to stretch it to make sure that that continues to look aligned on the, either side. That should allow me to basically just use that and pull this, uh, you know, down and just start folding. And if I do this right, the final area here should line up perfectly. Uh, but yeah, this, this almost feels easier than the tailgate for some reason. I don't know why, but check in in a minute. See All how right, this, this looks went. fantastic to me. I'd say it lined it up best I could. Uh, what bugged me is the end piece here. It only went to about there, whereas the tailgate goes lower. So I used some of the cutouts that were on the sheet from the buttons. And I'm uh, basically just gonna do a little sticker transplant here. I already did it for this tiny sliver. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this one and just, hell, why not? I've got the uh, extra piece. The uh, texture is working in my favor because it is so difficult to notice when uh, something is transplanted in there. So I'm just gonna get that. They did give me a little blade to cut uh, the paper. I'm just gonna set that on the absolute lowest 
as I can. Thank you. <laughs> I have a fan already. And I'm gonna just slice that off nice and clean, being careful not to scratch the tailgate plastic uh, underneath. So I'll just give that a quick one, two, and that should clean that up and make it on par with the tailgate so they match. Uh, all right, I'm losing light, so I gotta move on to the third panel. Alrighty guys, I've been working on this an hour and 45 minutes so far. That was enough to do the tailgate and the two sides. I think it looks pretty good. The sail applique, that is removable since I have the cyber tent. So I'm gonna go have some dinner and put the, wrap this one in the comfort of my own home and then pop that back on uh, later tonight. Um, but yeah, I actually really like the look of it. I wasn't sure I'd love this texture, but it uh, kind of gives it a nice deeper black, a little grungier feel. And yeah, this should uh, help protect the uh, plastic trim here. Oh, we got a little bubble. Push that one out. Um, but yeah, I like it. I don't know if I'd pay f to get, you know, the fenders and the bumpers all done. That's a good $500 at least, I think, to get those covered. But uh, honestly, this wasn't too difficult. It's just a little tedious to get some things to line up. This is the best I could do on this side. Um, but uh, I might just use my trick. I used on the tailgate area and just add a sliver bit from the scraps I have left over to bridge that gap and make it look just a little bit more even. Why not? And finished. This is the final look. It's the next day. I was able to take off this top piece since I've got the cyber tent retrofit no unscrewing needed and easily just slide that on to place and everything looks pretty good I'm pretty satisfied I do have some more of the extra cutout pieces so if I wanted to really be OCD about this and bring this in a few millimeters I could, but I don't know if it's uh, worth that. We'll see when I get back from my camping trip if uh, this even holds up to the cyber tent tomorrow. Um, but yeah, do you guys think this is worth 200 bucks? Not sure if I misquoted it in my first video, but I double checked, it is $200, that's $50 per side. That's pretty steep for what this is, um, but if it looks like a spray liner and behaves like a spray liner, maybe it'll be worth that steep $200 price tag. Uh, but I don't know, maybe leave a comment down below. Is this worth it? Or should I just replace these plastic pieces directly from Tesla if they get damaged? I'm one for being cautious and protecting, making sure it stays in as good a shape as possible especially when there's these price, not price, these uh, supply constraints, trying to get these trim pieces to keep flying off. But uh, this is the final look. Tell me what you think. I think it looks pretty good, but uh, I don't know, maybe some people don't like this texture compared to the fenders over there. Uh, I like it. I think it's growing on me the more I stare at it. I don't know. Be sure to subscribe, hit that bell button. I'm gonna be posting a lot more content in the upcoming weeks. Uh, more accessories, of course, and tips, tricks, techniques, stuff I've learned over the time of owning this cyber truck for the last several months. But alrighty, till next time, see you then. Hey guys, just a quick update while I'm out camping. The uh, top protect actually seems to be doing a great job with the cyber tent. And this does not appear to be scratching from the, all these plastic bits from the cyber tent. So I'd say it was worth it if it's holding up to that, rubbing back and forth. 
then uh, it's doing its job perfectly. So there you go. Good results so far.